Hi, it's Paul from Model Build International. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's down there somewhere. Uh, that way you'll get notified of the future videos, um, usually reviews, sometimes builds, and occasionally giveaways. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a new decal sheet from Lifelike Decals, this time in 172nd scale. This is about the P51 Part 4. Okay, so let's see what we get inside the bag. Uh, to start with, this is set number 72038 uh, for the P51 Mustang. This is part four. Notice there's uh, B's and D's here. It's designed for the uh, P52, oh, sorry, 172nd scale. Um, designed for the, uh, the Revel and Academy P51B and the Tamiya and the Airfix P51D. Um, a good thing I like about and lifelike decals is the um, the research they go into and also they give you fax numbers and email uh, to get in touch with them if you have questions or have more information about any of the decal options. So let's open the bag up and have a look. -see. So on the back here we've got the three decal sheets and they're basically all attached with a couple of pieces of tape just holding them together so they don't move around much. Have a look at those closer in a second. There'll be images of all these are on the website as well by the way the link is underneath the video. Um, so we start off we've got two sheets of single-sided colour. Obviously the, uh, that's the front part. Here you've got there's 23 different references used in pulling together these um, uh, these four decal options. There's the top and bottom views showing you where everything goes and this is basically where the work is for each of the four aircraft. You've got uh, the views you need and you've got a lot of background information. It's um, you know it's more than just like a lot of decal sheets, you just see a picture of the aircraft, here's where the decal goes, thank you very much, that's your lot. Here they go into who was flying the aircraft, when they were flying it, um, colour variations that um, occurred during the time that person was flying it, like sometimes different um, uh, panels change colour, um, and they give you a bit of history about the pilot as well. Um, and see here you've got some duplicate decals, uh, some for the t some work for the Tamiya kit, um, and some for other kits. So you have slight slight changes in the decals themselves to make them fit various kits. Um, part views as well, um, and there's basically a lot of de detail here. The sort of detail you see in a reference book rather than a decal sheet. That's one of the good things about Lifelike is they really go to town on their research. And it's the same for all their decal sheets. So that's pretty good. And then you get the stencil placement. Um, and this one is shows a D. But I think it's probably the same for the um, for the B as well. And then I'll do a quick zoom in of the decal sheets now. We can see they printed by uh, Cartograph and Microscale, the um, basically the ones with the yellow on, and the shark's teeth are printed by Cartograph. And like all theirs, there's very little backing film. You can only see the backing film on the text where it's used to hold uh, letters and words, the, align the alignment together for them. And then decal sheets uh, are really good. And oh no, that's pretty good. So another nice decal sheet from Lifelike Decals. You can get these at various places, but I'll put a link to their website underneath because they sell them on there as well, and they'll ship to you direct from Japan. 
Um, so many thanks to Life Like for sending it along for us to have a look at and hope you enjoyed it.